Hey, it's Don from Mr. Game Fight Club, and happy Bill Paxton Day. The day where we have public speeches about uh, fighting aliens. Uh, this is Independence Day, the video game. A game which is sure to be a trash fire. I'm playing on the, the uh, PlayStation version because I hate my life. There is a Windows version uh, that I attempted to get running. Uh, I tried hard. I tried hard. Um, I'm not really even sure what version of Windows it's supposed to run on. But of course I tried Windows 11. That was a no-go. And then I did uh, Windows 95, Windows XP, and uh, Windows 7. No-go. Didn't get to work. Other people have tried and, and got to work, but I don't know what they did. And I don't have the patience to get uh, one stupid game work. By the way, that letterbox is not... Um, that's not me. That's that's just how the game is. It's you got the sixteen by nine in the bottom two thirds of the screen, and then the the upper third is just empty. That's just that's just a black box. So I. <laughs> Noticing a lot of voice dialogue here is is, is missing from the uh, the footage, which I assume is, is on purpose. Oh boy, can't wait. Okay, here we go. Uh, destroy the field generators on the city. Destroyer, then take out the primary weapon. Okay. Eagle One here. I'm with Eagle Leader. Oh Lord. That alien destroyer. Abandoned. So look. Okay. So we got pitch up and down, bank left and right. That looks like a missile pickup. Okay. This is a little slippery. There are no analog controls, by the way. Like, we're just... So oh, God. Take out the generator to attack the destroyer. Got it. Heard you. Also don't know where the generators are. Should I... Should I be, like, trying to shoot down... Uh, ships? That I also cannot see, do not know where they are, etc. I also uh, apologize if I inadvertently make anyone motion sick. Take out the generator to attack the destroyer. Oh, they got shields. All right, makes sense. That's movie accurate. Now, um. Where are said generators? Are, are these they? Are these them? <laughs> okay. Okay. Good God. Just, just tapping up or down, left or right, just sends you careening off in the other direction. Is that the thing? Okay, apparently that's the boundary of the level. Oh, don't hit the thing. Okay. Now, if 
that was all four generators, which I don't think it was, that I guess all I have left to do is go after the main weapon in the middle. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, is that another one? Yep. Okay. Can I speed up? Is that a thing? Do we have thruster? Oh, that's okay. Cool. are the generators. Okay. Got it. Starting to get a hang on it. Man, these arenas are small. For, for the amount of maneuvering and the speed you have, like this is... Take out the generators to Oh. Okay, there's, I think that's speed control. Oh my god, you would think for as small as these places are that uh, the draw distance would be better, but it totally isn't. Okay, I only saw the one blue thing that they're calling a generator. circling the thing, aren't I? That's totally what's happening. There you are. Well, there's one of you, I guess. Yay, I did a thing. It's freeze aliens. That was slightly annoying. Like, if I actually have to shoot these things down at any point, this is going to be super annoying real fast. Let's find the rest of the blue things. Okay, so there's the center of the ship. Got it. Uh, may maybe, maybe this thing? There we are. Whoops. Don't actually run into it. That's, that's a bad. Don't actually do that. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is that... No? Yes. The do a barrel roll joke would be relevant here, except you can't. Okay. Basically, I have to use the combination of the two maps. Got the general 
map in the upper left corner and the, the, the mini map in the upper right corner. Showing you what the hell's going on. But man, it barely helps. Time is up. Uh, is it even going to let me destroy said weapon? I guess not. I, I have no control right now, by the way. Oh no, they destroyed the completely uninhabited Grand Canyon. Okay, for one thing, I need to actually turn down the volume a smidgen. And maybe the easy difficulty has uh, more lax uh, timing. Eagle One here. I'm with Eagle Man. Okay. That alien destroyer is going to make it tough to track the bandits. Don't look. All right, right away, there's one. Oh, but where's my other... Okay. It's a button. All right, we got two generators basically next to each other. So that's... I kind of know what I'm doing at this point now.
actually get to pick my play? Well, I guess not. We will not go quietly into that good night. We will not give up without a fight. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Sure, I will save my game. Okay, I actually remember when this movie came out. It was a big deal. What am I supposed to be doing? I was I didn't pay attention like that at all. Is it is it second verse, same as the first? What's going on? Defend the E3. Okay. I could try to do that. Kill the aliens, even though they have shields. So I guess I probably should be shooting down aliens in this one, which really, really sucks. You know, in most combat sims, you're going to want to at least make it possible to put enemy planes in your field of view. But these dudes are just buzzing around my plane at like three times the speed, which again, I guess is kind of lore accurate. They, they are far more maneuverable than you know, any of our planes are. But still, like, as a game mechanic, that's awful. Uh, yeah, I remember when this movie came out, like, that was, that was a huge deal. There was a bunch of marketing for it. That's back when, like, the restaurants got in on it. Like, Taco Bell and, and McDonald's and stuff. Uh, this is the same movie studio responsible uh, for that 1998 Godzilla movie. Oh. Oh, boy. That was rough. I don't think I walked out of the theater more upset. Like that was that was that was not a Godzilla movie. That was barely a Godzilla. Alright, so what's the deal here? Am I supposed to shoot down all the aliens or do I just need to make sure that the other plane doesn't die until time runs out? Like what's what's the deal here? See if I can speed up and then swing around because good god I can't see shit oh 
missiles randomly because that's like the only way repairs, huh? I didn't look like very major repairs. Oh god, I've played better combat sims on the Sega Genesis. I guess I just have to defend this thing for a little while because the number of alien planes is not really going down in any sort of permanent fashion. Come out of that with full health. That's good. Oh, I'm out of missiles. That's bad. In a game where you really just can't aim in the first place, like. Kind of need your missiles. sound is shots behind me hitting the force field. We got a little bit over a minute left on the clock, so just run in circles for a little bit longer. primary weapon.
So I guess that's going to be the pattern, huh? Do whatever the objective is and then destroy the big ship. I still cannot select anything other than the default plane, so. Sure, let's go. Aliens are using Earth-based satellite uplinks to communicate with other city destroyers. Find and destroy the uplinks. Oh, no. Does this mean I actually have to aim at the ground? See, that's going to be a bad time. Number one here. I'm with you, Leader. That alien destroyer is going to make it tough to track the van and the look. So what do these satellite uplinks look like? Do they look like literal satellites or what are we what are we doing with here? Dots, are those mission objectives or are those like pickups? I'm not really sure. I did a thing. I'm not sure what I did, but I did a thing. Hi. Oh, you're new. Oh, we're like in low orbit or some shit. Oh, no, we're not. We're just over the ocean. Why are we here? Destroy the remote generator. I guess that's this thing. God, I still can't control this thing for shit. idea what I'm doing or if what I'm doing is good. Okay. Gravity. Is, is that a target? That looks like a target. Okay. Cool. Return to New York. That's that's the thing I would do if I knew how. That pickup said YF-23. I don't know what that means. I don't understand what's going on. You! What are you? Is that a, is that a different... 
different lane? I have to assume that's what that is. Okay, now, it's asking me to go back to New York, also not telling me how to get there. Wait, I see a white arrow. I see a thing. I think, all right, I think I found it. an invincibility somewhere. Um, I might have to settle just for picking up uh, just some minor repairs. Hello, kitten. Are we coming for a visit? Yep. How is spring today? Okay, goodbye then. Okay, back to the mission at hand. Assuming I can actually find it. that these are like in the corners 
seems to be like what their 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 go to for putting important objectives is just putting them in corners. And you know if if, if, if you could destroy the enemy fighters permanently, like it would be, I think it'd be worth it to go after them. But it's really, they really just exist to annoy you. There's another invincibility if I can manage to pick it up. There we go. Works for me. Well, I got one more satellite thingy to go get. Not east. Uh, I don't see anything southwest. Seeing this last thing kind of swept around the whole left side. get a look at anything. So many things shooting at me. So little ability to aim. That's not nauseating at all. Shit just happened. Oh. I see the severe plane damage. I also can't do much about it. God. It was Southwest. 
Now I actually have to be able to swing around to hit it. Daniel 6, take evasive action. Appears to be well guarded, is good lord. And I got blown up again. Visual. I also have a lot of incoming fire. Let's try that one again. I'm just going to have to unload. That's what's going to happen. I think I got a good few shots on it. By the time I swing back around. There we go. There we go. That was an ordeal. Okay, so I can actually change to a different plane. Speed, agility, and durability are all way up. So let's see how this, how, how well this goes. Uh, the Paris mission objective, destroy the field, destroy the field generators located on the destroyer and ground. So we got a little bit of both going on. Eagle one here. I'm with you. Okay. Follow the white arrows. Oh Lord, this plane is fast. I don't need it to be this fast. Way better. Holy shit. I mean, it isn't any less nauseating, but... One I was working on is over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you. Okay. I'm going to actually pay attention to the the white arrow this time. Yeah, the game's a lot 
lot easier when you follow the uh, the mechanics that it does not explain. At all. Like, I don't need a lot of hand-holding, but at least tell me what's up. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it. Like, games today are, are almost verbose in how much information they give you. Okay, there's another ground. God, those tumblers are a problem. Okay, what's next? Got another one up top. I'm just about out of missiles. So I should probably go grab a couple before finishing the mission. He's just on the rim. You may not be done yet, but I certainly am. I think about it got everything I need to out of uh, this particular game. Oh, Lord. And now for something completely different. Some swap games out right quick. There are no volume options here. Oh, well, here we go. Sound. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's back it up. Such. This is gauche. This is the United Space of America. And this is uh, this was developed by a mutual acquaintance of uh, a Scott and myself. Mega America Galaxy began receiving mysterious signals from the signals constellation of the Milky Way. The 
initial communication between humans and the enigmatic messengers, but quickly grew hostile. We are husk. We thirst for your resources and elements. Prepare for a compulsory coalescence. Oh, I love that alliteration. It's good stuff. We will converge in 102,492 Earth hours. No one knew why the threat came with an 11-year warning. Felt compelled to take the husk threat seriously. That is not realistic at all. The U.S. began funding labs to develop proton-based weapon and defense mechanisms. Emerging technology benefited a spectrum of human interest, but military applications were the most prized returns. Now that, that, yeah, that tracks. As the husk finally closed in on Earth, POTUS was able to provoke a direct attack from the husk ship's neutronic weapons directly to the United States. This sacrifice spared the rest of the Earth. Damage to the United States was catastrophic. POTUS now prepares for American reunification as he and millions of other citizens survive. Thanks to the false atmospheres installed throughout every region of the country. The husks send a fleet to infiltrate the scattered asteroids. POTUS responds. Yeah, man. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Good luck. Don't forget to push this button to jump. Oh, we're we we are right bumpering the jump. Got it. Oh, I see. It's because we got 360 aiming. We're 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 twin sticking it, boys. You are capable of an array of acrobatics. Slide under this obstacle. Whoa. Awesome. Are you? No. Not necessary, apparently. So 360 aiming in running guns is something of a, I don't want to say controversial topic necessarily, but it is a topic of conversation anyway. You know, do you, do you keep the, the classic straight ahead uh, shooting that you've probably grown up with, or do you go for the precision of 360 aiming? Some enemies and hazards are immune to your cannon fire. Use your proton saber, the strider. I guess these fools. Oh no. Hit it. It's the strider soul. Whoops. Slap the spiky boy. Oh, yeah. Add to your proton charge by absorbing enemy fire with your strider. Ah. Ooh, that's a risky mechanic. Risk, risk, reward. Ah, 
Ah. Actually, actually hit the thing there, Tom. Okay. You know, it's really tight. If your proton charge reaches 10, you'll be able to perform a triple dash in air. Hold any direction and push this in air to dash in any direction. Dash. Ah, okay. Oh, well, I guess you just keep going. Okay. Cool. I'm into it. I'm planning for this day for more than a decade, but nothing can prepare me for this. Looks like I'll need a ride to the city. Please ascend, please ascend to the Liberty to pick me up. My fellow Americans, the Hosk attack on Earth has begun. As we expected and have planned for the last 11 years, the Hosk had a weapon powerful enough to scatter our country across the inner solar system. Thanks to our hard work and new proton technology, we received word that all false atmospheres have activated. That being said, I'm still pretty pissed about it, so you know me, these aliens are super screwed. Though we are all floating as asteroids in space, I don't want anyone to panic. My staff and I will handle the hush threat. Please continue with your normal daily activities as if nothing is happening, and we will ensure your safety. False atmospheres and inertial dampeners to be very effective. Enjoy your day. We'll have this wrapped up shortly. We'll keep you posted. Boat is out. I happened to notice the sky when I was noticed outside peeing in that old beer can of beans. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool, man. Anyway, I'm sure am glad we elected this guy. He's a freaking best. Sir, I've just received intel that Vice was captured by a Husk subfleet and is headed toward our asteroids area. I assume they're coming for you. I'm not worried about me, but we do need to rescue Vice and get to the Proton Thrusters ASAP. Sir, Husk ships have engaged with us. More are approaching. Try to drive them inward, toward this into the asteroid. I'll start taking the ground. Yes, sir. I should try to stop you, but I know you won't listen. At least you have some pretty gear. This has always been the plan, Roz. The military and Secret Service protect the people, and we handle the rest. I'll be fine. Let me know if you have the vice's position. Yes, sir. All right, so I think we're in the game proper now. Oh, nice uh, Atari logo down there. Mega America Gold. If you become overwhelmed or in a tricky situation, use this button to increase your reaction speed. This will make you and everything around you appear to move in slow motion. Having this mode enabled will deplete your proton charge. Try to activate slow motion air dash through all of these creepy faces. Oh wait, I'm supposed to do the thing. I, I think I failed. I think I, I think I, I think I forked it up. Mega America guns prototype proton energy. Oh, you're a beefy boy. Freedom blast on L trigger. I will have to 
did not show. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, clearly that's the BFG shot. Or this game's version of one. Whoops. Wrong button. Myself to use dual stick controls. Because okay, I'm not used to using bumper to jump and that kind of thing. Deuces. See you later. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a block. Oh, and I still fell. Hey, it's totally fine. Oh. Whoops. I was not expecting you. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't have the ability to air dash right now, so I kind of have to take the low path. Stop that. You need to stop that. Whoops, that's an air dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I know not many people played this game, but um, Godzilla NES kind of reminds me. Sort of. Like these, these, like these flying drill things. Godzilla NES had like meteors that would track you for some reason. Feels good when you do that cleanly, especially since I don't know what I'm doing. I am inept. Somewhere, I think. Got to a checkpoint anyway. Ah. 
The drill bomb got me. Ahead. Okay, get the hang of the guy. Oh. Almost had a temporary power up that I didn't realize was a temporary power up. This is a giant unstoppable projectile. Oh, okay, this is the uh, tutorial for the BFG blast. That was big damage. Hello. A guy, guy, Gaio? Square of Gothos. Why did you give us a warning before you arrived? It's a simple matter of honor. We don't attack the unprepared. We find it to be in poor taste. Well, I mean, if this was... If this was, like... If this was, like, real life, like, we would not prepare at all. Like the, the aliens would just roll up, and we we would have nothing. We we would have no weapons. The um the old TV show Dinosaurs had a very succinct. Uh, episode where they talked about uh, environmental stuff. God, geez, don't you don't you think what we're doing out here is you know really harming the environment? We could you know unintentionally cause our own demise. And like the boss is like, yeah, that sounds like a fourth quarter problem. And that is so true for everything about humanity. We don't give a shit until like. There's an imminent threat. If aliens came up and said, hey, you got 11 years to, to get ready, we would wait until year 10 and a half to do literally anything. Here's what I want to know. Oh, you can't get behind it. Oh, but he did he turned around. Okay. So I see you. You thought about that. Okay. Good on you. No balls. Okay. Cheese him? Can I just sit here and wail on this dude? Not really. Okay. Charge ready. Oops. I meant to I meant to I can go over. Ah. Actually, at what point is the freedom blast in here? Can I do that now? No. Maybe that's the key to this fight. Okay. 
equipment that helped. Oh, whoops. Okay, so I need to be smarter about this. Well, I mean, there is directional inputs for the, the Strider Sword, but... You can't do it, like, diagonally. So it's either up or it's forward. And both are wrong. You're gonna get hit either way. Why you should probably dash around, but you also have to be careful about that. So you time your dashes to just, you know, not get annihilated the second that the dash runs out. Finish this fight. But I'm getting somewhere. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. That is uh, a, a spike in difficulty for sure. So I mean, you know, like this could benefit from like boss phases, like after like the first third or something. You know, do like a you know do like a health drop. Start off with uh, less intense. Uh, bullet patterns, something. Unless I'm just doing this wrong, which is entirely possible still. I don't know what I was really going for there. I think I was trying to dash through. I think if I had just do was just continued on the strategy I was already using, I think I would have been fine. But I got adventurous at exactly the wrong time. I wonder if. Firing along the bottom, like along where the treads are, I wonder if that actually gives me more opportunity to do, to do damage. On charge, ready. You know, larger surface area. I'm just gonna try to like gun him down from here. There we go. Got he. A 
Vice, are you okay? I love that landing. Yeah, I'm fine. Those drip lickers can't face me. I'm glad to have you back. We got a lot to do in a little time. You know me, POTUS, I got your back. Gotta say, they are strange, race. I have the impression they're waiting for something. Maybe you're preparing a weapon. I don't love the sound of that. Let's go get back to the control bunker and we'll discuss this with the others. You go on ahead, I'll activate the thrusters and meet you there. You got it, sir. So we have style ratings. Hell yeah. Proton thrusters activated. We're headed for the closest asteroid, which we have designated Mega Homeland 2. <laughs> we should be arriving in less than 10 minutes. The hell was that? Oh no, it's the Battletoads Vulture. Looks like we have a Hosk warship trying to keep us. I didn't catch the last part. Don't sweat it, watch this. That was incredible. Why didn't we just do that all the time? Because we only have so much proton energy, it takes a lot to move a mega homeland around. So we have to be very conservative with our resources. Speaking of that, I heard the husk blabbing about them buying enough time to recharge. You think they're taking, talking about the weapon they used to blow us off the face of the earth? I'm not sure, but it didn't sound like they were talking about smartphones. More reason to get this done ASAP. Roz, how much longer till we reach our destination? We're here. Sphinx is going to be so pumped to see us. Not us. Just me. What? Why? I want you to hang back here. Wouldn't be good for the plan if we were both taken out. I understand, sir. These Hosk scum are some tricky boys. Sir, the Liberty gunship is ready to transport you to the surface. Good. While I'm out there, be sure you and the rest of the SS keep the Hosk focused on me and not the citizens. Yes, sir. Ah, Jesus. Oh, God. I don't want none of that. I do appreciate the audio cues because, you know, it is very distinct, like, by what sounds you hear, what enemies are on the field. At least most of them. Oh, no thanks. Oh, no thanks. Okay, so that was a, uh, like a 
Good shotty. Warning now, this is our fault. Consumption of MMG Core Ultra Mega Death Gulp will actually kill you dead. Hell yeah, brother, you can still buy it. Though, because drinking gun <laughs> drinking guns is your lyrical American right. Understand this. Drinking guns is probably the coolest thing ever. Unfortunately, limbs may randomly fall off even if you don't die. But again, that's not on us just like all the those other times blindness will occur but if you can't read this again not on us do not feed any mmg core products to dogs they will turn it they will turn into werewolves not on us it's not our fault wow I think we next found the uh, the next big thing. In, in America, drinking guns, Li liquid gun. All right, Biggin, what you got? Oh, okay. I whiffed pretty hard on that one. That's a, that's a baller design, though, I will say. I like that enemy. Speaker start to say something. Did you just catch that freaking monster I just blew up? Crazy, right? Gotta run, bud. Why don't you activate the thrusters on this bad boy and roll close to us? We'll be on Mega Homeland 1 as we make our way to the next Mega Homeland to go grab something. Oh yeah, that's a thing. We call these Mega Homelands now. Neat name, right? Well, deuces. I'm incompetent. <laughs> uh... Welcome back, sir. Vice and I have been receiving more intel about the Husk. We are now able to intercept their ship and ship transmissions. What did you find? The Husk are a conqueror race that, when claiming a planet, tamed the dominant species and commonly trained them to fight for them. I swear, boy, the Horse of Revere, we will stop them. Be careful, Lotus. They also wear alien skin like a snuff. I usually leave judgment to the Secretary of Swiss Justice, but that's just gross. We gotta get those dudes out of here. I am not trying to be a designer jacket. What is that? The, the Necron... Necron Flayers? Necron... Something or others. Anyway. Megalhamblin Tones 2's thrusters are online. And I assume we'll be heading for Megalhamblin 3. Yes, sir. There, we will find the Secretary of Swift Justice to activate freeze thrusters. Sounds good. Let's roll. Eliminate us. No. Okay. So that's all the time that I have for this evening. 
This has been the United Space of America. Go check that out on Steam. Uh, doesn't cost a whole lot. Just a few bucks here and there. It's a good way to celebrate Bill Paxton Day. Kill some alien scum. Uh, there's a lot to, to, to like here. I, I do enjoy this. And uh, as I mentioned before, the uh, the dev is a mutual acquaintance of ours. Um, he, he owns a few arcade cabinets uh, that I'm aware of. He brought one to the Arcade Expo uh, this past year, and I know for a fact that he owns uh, a Primal Rage arcade cabinet, so that automatically made us like, like best buds in spirit, at least. You know, anyone who owns a Primal Rage uh, cabinet can't be, can't be that bad, especially if you understand why you need the arcade cabinet of Primal Rage uh, to start with. But anyway... Uh, you can catch uh, Scott and myself next week. Yeah, next week. Literally next week. Uh, live and in person uh, with our sister group, New Anime Collective, uh, for Anime Night. And then shortly after, we will be having our monthly mystery fighting game tournament. Um, but yeah, I've been Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you around.